this week in Knicks news, the off-season weekly recap giving you the lowdown on the orange and blue. Hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Let's start it off with breaking news. Video leaked early Sunday morning of a bloodied Kristaps Porzingis on the streets of Latvia. It looks like KP got washed up late night Saturday night. The video appears to show Porzingis with a torn shirt speaking to police trying to maneuver through a crowd of people. Now according to TMZ, Kristaps allegedly got into an altercation with a group of Russian fans who were upset that KP had switched teams. Lesson learned for Knicks haters, Knicks fans are worldwide, watch your mouth. Now I'm glad he appears to be okay, but this comes as a breath of fresh air to Knicks fans on the trade as the mounting distractions to the Porzingis brand is certainly bringing negative attention to the kid. There was league-wide hysteria when Kevin Durant went down in Game 5 of the Western Conference Semifinals against the Rockets. Knicks fans were holding their breath as many people speculated that it could have been an Achilles injury. Luckily for KD, it's a mild calf strain and he should be available for the Western Conference Finals. And we've been hearing a lot of stuff about him leaving Golden State and going to New York. It's true. From everything that I've heard, it's about a 95% possibility him and Kyrie going to New York City. Ain't 100%. Because if you know anything about Kevin Durant's temperament, ain't 100%. But it's pretty done. It's pretty close to done. And I don't want to hear about Kyrie staying in Boston. He ain't staying in Boston. Stop that nonsense. He's out. Now, Stephen A. seems pretty confident that Kyrie and KD is almost a done deal. But how do you feel about Kyrie Irving? After their Game 5 loss against the Bucks in the Eastern Conference Semifinals, where Kyrie Irving shot a combined 25 for 83 in all four losses, including 6 for 21 from the field, many people are detracting from the Kyrie Irving bandwagon, questioning his leadership, his fit with Boston, the relationship with the coach Brad Stevens, his relationship with the media. This was no doubt a tough season for Kyrie Irving, and his future in Boston is surely in question. You know, for me, it's just moving on to the, the next thing um, and just seeing where, where that ends up. Now, the question is, where will that end up? While most people speculate it will be with the Knicks, Brian Windhorse of ESPN says, don't count out the Lakers. One thing's for sure, Kyrie Irving learned this year that being the lead guy in the Batman role is a challenge and maybe his best fit is in that Robin role to a 1A type of player. So a reunion in LA with LeBron James might not be that far-fetched. Now, according to Ian Begley of SNY TV, the Knicks will be targeting both Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard this offseason. Hey, I'll take either one on the team or both. But so much speculation is that Kawhi Leonard is going to the Clippers this offseason. Then again, you never know what Kawhi Leonard is thinking. And remember, back when Kawhi Leonard was requesting a trade from the Spurs, there was rumors that New York was on his list of teams that he wanted to go to. So knowing Kawhi, anything's possible. Now, according to Ian Begley of SNY, the Knicks are also high on free agent point guard Kemba Walker. Now, Kemba is coming off of his third straight All-Star appearance and the best season of his career, averaging 25.6 points per game, 5.9 assists per game, and 4.4 rebounds per game. Now, many in the fan base are debating between Kyrie Irving and Kemba Walker. But if you make a case for Kemba, you can point to his production, his durability, and the ability to handle pressure under the bright lights of Madison Square Garden. Kemba's built for it. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Kyrie or Kemba, who would you rather the Knicks pursue this offseason? Could Klay Thompson shake loose out of Golden State? According to Woj, if the Warriors do not offer Clay a max deal of five years, $190 million, the Clippers could be the favorites to land Clay in free agency. Now, as much as I would like to see one of the NBA's most deadly assassins light up Madison Square Garden as a member of the Knicks, I highly doubt Golden State would let Clay walk out of that door this offseason. Now, speaking of three point shooting, it was the debut of MSG 150 this week, and Knicks GM Scott Perry was on and talking about the type of players that he's looking to add 
this offseason? No, I, I, I think we want to, you know, add a little bit of experience to our roster. We want to add uh, some guys that, that can shoot the basketball. You know, the, the way the game is going now uh, with the, the, the great number of three-point shots. So you, you need guys that can make shots. We want some guys with a little edge who can defend as well, too. I mean, those ingredients all fit into the, how we want to play the game and what we talked about from the very beginning. On the trade front, rumors are circulating that the Pelicans have been scouting Knicks rookie Kevin Knox. There's a potential Anthony Davis trade that could be on the horizon this offseason. And clearly the Pelicans are doing their due diligence in the event the Knicks can offer a package that would be enticing to trade for a top 10 superstar in the league. Now there's no doubt that the Knicks should be exploring what a trade market for Anthony Davis would entail. The question is, what would be the price? In an interview with New York Post, ex-Nets GM Bobby Marks would consider a package of the potential number one pick, Kevin Knox, Frank Nielakina, and the two first round picks we received from Dallas as equitable compensation for Anthony Davis. My reaction to that would be, lay off the weed. That package is way too steep to acquire AD, and if I'm the Knicks, I'm saying hell no. But let me know what you think about the AD rumors in the comments below, as well as the latest Knicks news and rumors of the week. Don't forget, this week is also the Knicks NBA Draft Lottery. Keep it locked and subscribe to Knicks Fan TV as we give you the latest minute-to-minute -minute updates and fan reactions to one of the biggest nights in Knicks offseason history.